same words that David declared when he said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of God. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. It's got to get better. All over the world, listen to these words. People come. People go. Your life has been out of control. You're confused. But don't worry. Well, tonight we're going to talk about a little sensitive subject. And uh, we know where we are in our state, in the state of Georgia. And those of you who are tuned in all over the country, uh, I know you've heard about where we are in our state. Uh, in the state of Georgia where our governor has declared us to be open in certain areas of profession uh, such as hair salons, barbershops, uh, and then bars and all of that will be open up on Monday but this Friday they are opening up to uh, nail shops and spars and things of that nature. Uh, however, however, we want to practice our wisdom. We want to use wisdom. We want to practice what is safe and what is right. So I wanted, uh, I wanted to say that to the people of God that was watching. Early on when all of this began, uh, some would say that I may have not taken this seriously because of the comments that I had made earlier. I made comments like, we're going to stand in faith. We're going to believe God. Uh, you may not know anybody that has this disease as of yet. Now, because I said those things doesn't mean that I did not take this virus or this pandemic serious. So I did. I've taken it very serious. But I wanted to be authentic with the people of God tonight because I didn't want you to think for one minute that I did not have you on my mind. I had you on my mind all the time. And I always keep you on my mind. So because of those things that were being said didn't mean that I wasn't for real and did not think that this was a serious move. I just knew that I had to operate both in faith and operate uh, not in fear. So I did. I operated in faith and I'm glad about it and I'm going to continue to stand in faith. However, I want us to have enough common sense, enough common sense to know that if you know that it's not time to make the moves that uh, that our higher officials are asking us to do, then you be safe. Continue to be safe in place. That's my executive order. My executive order is for you to be careful, to be safe, to not move too fast, to not move too soon. Don't make those moves. Let's wait to the professionals, the scientists, the doctors, those who are in charge. Let's wait until we hear from them and then we will make a we will make a move that may be getting us closer to opening up. Uh, so you will be hearing more from me on that. We're going to move slow. We're going to move very careful as we begin to uh, move back to the place that we may come and pull up and worship. So we're going to move careful. We're going to be very careful. No, we are not doing it this Sunday. This Sunday, I'll be back online and I'll be right here to give you and minister to you the word of the Lord on this Sunday. And then we would go into further instructions after the month of May come in. Isn't that good? And that should be good news. Now, this is what I want to talk about on tonight. I, I said all of that to say what we want to focus on tonight, making just being in a bad situation, making something that's good, making the best out of a bad situation. And that's what we have to do. We have to make the best out of a bad situation. Uh, when I read over and when you read over in the book of Genesis, Genesis, the 39th chapter, as we began to read the story of Joseph, I didn't want, didn't want to read it to you tonight because we all, we are all very familiar with the story of Joseph and his brothers and what happened to him. Joseph ended up having to make the best out of a bad situation. And that's what I am commissioning everyone tonight to do. Let's make the best out of this bad situation. Just after all, 
It's been since March since some of us had our hair done. It's been since March since some of us had our nails done. It's been since March since some of us have been to the spa. It's been since March since some of us have gone to the gym. So let's make the best out of a bad situation. Some of us, some of us may call it bad, but here's the deal. We cannot, I'm commissioning each one of you today to embrace the peace of God in this situation. If you can embrace the peace of God, it's the peace of God that will surpass all of our understanding. So in this situation right here, let's make the best of it. You may have to wash your hair one more time over in that sink. You may have to press your hair out one more time. You may have to take those acrylic nails off one more time. Come on, this is our Bible study now. We're just making, we're trying to make sense out of this nonsense that's going on. So we may, you may have to let somebody trim your hair up, brethren, one more time. We're going to make the best out of this bad situation. We've come too far to turn back. We don't want to flash back. We don't want to set back. We've come too far, just like Joseph did. Over in the Bible, Joseph, Joseph made the best out of the situation that was given to him. He did not ask to be thrown down into a pit. He did not ask to be put in prison. He did not ask to be put in the palace. But what happened to Joseph was what others had done to him. What has happened to us is what something that is this silent, this private, enemy that has come to take over and attack our lives. We didn't ask for it. It's something that has happened and we got to make the best out of what's going on in our world today. I know you can clap your hands and thank God for that because we're making the very best out of this thing. Embrace the peace of God because the peace of God is the only thing that will bring us to understanding. Don't ever drop off on what you are doing in this hour. If you had dreams six months ago, continue to dream. Come on, let's make the best out of this thing. If you had vision six months ago, hold on to your vision. Whatever you had six months ago, seven months ago, or a whole year ago, you still have everything that you need on the inside of you to make it through this bad situation. We're going to make the best of it. That's what we've been doing. We've been making the best out of this situation. I'd rather have, and, and not only that, we got to focus on having the hand of God on our life, continuing to walk with the hand of God. I much rather have the hand of God on my life than to have money, houses, cars, prestige, power, or position. Can you say that with me? I don't need power or position. I don't need prestige. I much rather have the hand of God on my life when I'm in this type of situation. We're going to make the best of it. We've been dealing with making the best out of this situation, and we're going to continue to deal with it. I believe that God is smiling on us because we are working through a situation that we did not ask for. I thank God for this. I thank God for that. No power, no prestige, no position can ever, ever take the place of the hand of God on our life. Embrace the peace of God, people of God. Embrace your dream. Hold on to them. Hold. We got to hold on just a little while longer. Hold on to them. Stay encouraged in the Lord. This situation is not going to hang around forever. This too shall pass. So I'm saying to you tonight, with word on Wednesday with Wendy, Let's make the best out of the bad situation. Let's encourage each other. Let's embrace the peace of God. Let's hold on to our dreams. Let's continue to seek the, the hand of God to be on our life because power, position, and prestige means nothing if the hand of God is not on our lives. So let's pursue the hand of God to be on our life and love on God as much as we can while we're in this situation. Let's make the best out of a bad situation. All right, I'll see you all back on Sunday morning at the 1030 hour. We're going to be in full worship on Sunday morning. Amen. We'll be in full worship. We're going to still stay safe in place in our homes. We're not moving forward yet. We're going to stay safe in place 
in our homes. I would that you give tonight. If you're going to give or give on Sunday, you know what to do. You can go to Give Lafay. That's Greater Victory Christian Center, 7340, Old National Highway, Riverdale, Georgia. And you can also give by PayPal. You can also go to our cash app at Greater is yours, uh, is our cash app. I love you so much, people of God. Word on a Wednesday with Pastor Wendy. Don't miss it. I'll see you again on Sunday morning. Peace, love, and blessings. It's got to get better. All over the world. Listen to these words. People come. People come. People go. People go. Your life has been. Your life has been. Out of control. Out of control. You're confused. You're confused. But don't worry. Don't worry yourself.